Hi there, Blaze here, welcoming another devlog of my space shooter project. This week I want to make my game more mobile friendly by optimization and also UI and UX improvements. Let's get started. So today is Monday and I made changes on UIs to adjust them for vertical display. I changed the layout a bit, so now we have small image on the top of the screen. This is because many people have really huge phones, so this area is really hard to read with the thumb, so it will be used only as visual aspect. All buttons were moved to the bottom and I want to make some graphics for them in the future, but for now we have only plain text. There is some space left on the middle of screen and I want to place here some stats, settings, etc. Everyone welcome in Tuesday. I spent this day on improving my UI. I added button to access pause menu and connect it with corresponding UI. To be honest, I connected all the buttons with corresponding actions, so as you can see you can now leave pause menu by clicking continue button and you can also restart mission or back to mine menu. Mine menu contains only two buttons, so nothing special, but I will improve this in the future. From mission complete window you can also back to the mine menu. There is one more interface, game over window with some buttons. If player spaceship was destroyed by aliens, it can back to the game by clicking respawn button. Its health will be set to maximum and the game will be continued from the place where it loses. But this can be done only once per game. After second death, this button is disabled. Player can also restart entire mission to try again or back to main menu. Welcome on Thursday. Yesterday I made some improvements on art. I prepared graphic for UI and add some blocks on the next soundtrack. Currently I'm doing few simultaneously and I will show you the effect of every when they are ready. Today I have a goal to improve performance on mobile devices. I started with try to set maximum refresh rate to 60 FPS, but after reading the documentation of Unity, I realized that game engine set it to 30 or 60 on mobiles by default. So I will leave it as it is. I also removed all stuff that left on project from my prototype I created in first video. It isn't big optimization, but I just want to have clean project which builds faster. The biggest thing I changed today is the spawner script, which should destroy any objects that are no more visible on the screen. For example, fired missiles. Now I'm gonna tell you how it works. For proper work, I need two scripts. First script is an observer, and it's added to game object with renderer component, and it invokes event when renderer becomes visible or invisible. For the first try, I implemented this using send message, because I wanted to avoid references between objects, but using send message caused Unity crashes. It is probably my fail, not Unity's itself, but when I did a research about this type of invoking functions, many people recommend to avoid using messages and just use events. So I did it. Second script is controller. It has on enable and on disable functions which subscribes its despawn function to events from observer. Despawn is nothing more than just destroying the game object, but I want to create puller in the future to avoid instantiating and destroying often used objects. Hello, welcome on the end of the week. I spent few hours of Friday and the weekend to improve my second soundtrack. This will be for boss fights. It is still not finished, but I can show you how it sounds for now. Enjoy!
And that's all for today. Not too much, but I just had less time to develop this project in last week. I hope that next weeks will be more productive. If you like my work, hit the thumbs up and remember to subscribe for more game dev content. From today, new videos will be released on Mondays instead of Sundays. So, see you soon in next Monday. Bye!